When making videos, I have really struggled with self-doubt. I've been wondering who will care, who would find it interesting. Over time, I've just come to the conclusion that I guess it's fine to just do the videos, even if it's just me enjoying it. But either way, it was really hard with the last one. Also, because it was quite the job to go through all the material I filmed over the last year. When doing that video, I was about to give up several times, but Daniel really supported me to keep going. At least he, my mom, and maybe a few others would watch it. It has been so overwhelming with all the comments and responses to the last video, and it's also been so fun to get in touch with other people doing a similar thing or dreaming about doing it. So thanks to all of you and thanks to Daniel for being the best imaginable support. I really wish everyone had a person like that in their life. From now on I'll do my videos in English so that anyone who wants can come along as my journey continues. Repainting the fence, it's not something that I was going to do, but it was actually quite a nice job, so I decided that, yeah, why not? And um, it does really need a coat of paint. I am using linseed oil paint um, and I have intended to do that in other places of the house as well um, but uh, inside it wasn't very successful but um, I'm definitely trying to use it outdoors the reason for it is because I um, really want to avoid like regular paint which usually contains plastic and a lot of microplastics in oceans and whatnot um, comes from uh, plastic from paint I just really don't want to contribute to that. I'm taking this guy out from the basement on a regular basis and he keeps finding his way in so I think this is something I need to fix because I don't want to have frogs in my basement 
Inte jag. I think he looks a little bit offended. I'm really annoyed. One of the windows cracked when I was hammering in the nail and um, I don't have any more of those glasses. They're not arriving until next week probably. And yeah, I'm just not comfortable like having the window just with plastic. It's also really cold inside. So I just really want to get this window done, but I also don't want to put in like a broken glass when I'm putting so much time and effort into making... Yeah. So annoying. It was like the last nail. It just... Deep breathing. Okay, I have a plan. The plan is to try and be really gentle when I'm scraping this window um, so that the glass doesn't break because I only ordered exactly the amount that I needed. Um, so I can use one spare glass for the other one. And I might also only do the outside of this window now. Uh, and then do the inside later on. Just so I can put it back so I don't need to have like plastic covering the window in the meantime. Yeah, we'll see how that goes.
It's time to sand the bathroom for the first time. Um, yeah, I plastered it the other day and um, yeah, I'm going to try to not get dust everywhere so I'm going to put some plastic on top of that door. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this might have been, might as well have been fabric. Trying to reduce plastic, but uh, I still fall into the traps of like, this is the way you do it, kind of. Yeah, whatever. Så har vi en skurborste. Golvet. Nej, det går inte. Men den gamla färgbruken är ju där inne. Ja, det kan vi göra. Okay. Hur känns det med det? Är den torr? Är den bra? Ja. Thank you. 